Hello there, this is Asenetius Films on YouTube and this here is a unboxing video. I don't normally do these too many but I decided to do one for this video. Uh, this is a zero tolerance knife and we'll get to it pretty quickly. We got a Benchmade 940 or actually why don't we use another CT to open it. Bam! I just got this from House of Blades. Let's take a look. I was order 1000. And uh, just to show you guys, uh, I made a comment regarding just check for censoring and any cosmetic issues before shipping. Uh, the guy that I talked to said that they would. Uh, and let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Zero tolerance box and that's pretty much it. And there you guys go. A uh, Zero 562 in carbon fiber. Let's go ahead and open it and uh, I did ask them to please check for centering and to check for cosmetic issues uh, before shipping it to me they did not however allow me to quote quote cherry pick the best one which kind of sucks to be honest but uh, if I would have gone in person they would have allowed me but I guess not for an online order um, Go ahead and open it up and let's take a freaking look. You guys can kind of get the carbon fiber there. We got the silica bag. Nice size. Uh, I've handled the. Um, hmm. Feels good. Uh, I've handled the. Uh, I've handled quite a few hinderers already. Uh, I first handled a hinderer at the House of Blades. It was a uh, 3 inch and 3.5 inch. And it didn't really do much for me to be perfectly honest. The flipping action was not as good as other knives does. It sucked. I'm not too sure uh, how easy, I mean, how, what, what more to say to that. but. The flipping action sucked on it, and uh, it's just the way it is uh, with those knives. Let's see, we got serial number 135. Very nicely done, satin finish with the stone wash flats. Really nice looking. It is solid, and it is centered, like I asked them to please check and uh, it looks good it looks really good it does flip pretty nicely it, it flips about a billion times better than uh, the you know em uh, than the real hinderer let's check the edge edge looks okay a bit sloppily done you got a little bit of a recurve there uh, yeah, whoever put this edge on was a complete fucking amateur, in my opinion. Uh, it is sharp, thankfully, but man, they really butchered that edge pretty bad, in my opinion, anyways. Um, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it, really, because I'll probably put it on my Edge Pro and get that shit nice and uh, sharp, as well as uh, even. Uh, it is sharp as it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do a demonstration. We got a Chipotle napkin. And it's pretty sharp, but doesn't seem to be quite as sharp as 
the uh, 562, I mean the 5, I mean the 801. This is way sharper. And I'm sure my Benchmade will be even sharper than that. Where in the hell did that knife end up? Weird. Oh, there it is. Let's give that a try. Yeah, not even a sharp. Uh, the edge is so-so from factory. It's not terribly sharp, but I guess it's okay. I'm pretty damn sure a lot of people wouldn't be able to put this kind of edge. But uh, it feels pretty good on the hand. I already handled the G10 model, so I kind of knew what to expect as far as uh, as far as ergonomics went. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, I'm very, very, very certain that the grind here, the tapering of the grind, is done a bit thinner than the uh, uh, actual hinderer one. Um, uh, I'm pretty damn sure of that. Um, it's pretty smooth, actually, now that I think about it. There is a little bit of up and down play when it's closed, but nothing really to concern too much about. Um, yeah, pretty pretty nice looking knife, pretty cool. Uh, I am probably going to carry this over the uh, 801, because I am selling the 801. Uh, just not on blade forms, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this looks pretty cool, man. Really nice job. Look at all that detail, very nicely done. Uh, let's see if the scales are nice and flush. Not perfect, but certainly doable. Um, you can see how on this corner over here, um, on this corner, the carbon fiber is just sticking out a little bit, but that's quite all right. I'm, I'm I'm pretty certain that I could probably fix that myself if I wanted to, which I won't. I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's how it came. Um, overall, if you do want a hinderer uh, XM, uh, this is a pretty good way to get a feel for it. It's not the exact same as a hinderer. But I think it's as close as you're going to get to it, to be honest. Uh, the 560 was inspired. This is more of a, uh, a closer copy. Like I said, it's not exactly the same. It's kind of an in-between, in my opinion, of an XM and an Eclipse. Uh, that would be my better... Uh, uh, um, um, ah, blah, 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 blah. That would be my better guess. Uh, kind of an in-between. But... Uh, uh, really cool knife. Uh, oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah. This is definitely a flipper only. These uh, blade stops, as CT will have you call them, are most definitely not, not going to work as thumb studs. Holy smokes, that is tough. You're going to really check up your thumb. Oof. Yeah, definitely not a good idea. Hey, let's try it. There we go. Yeah, if you can keep your fingers off the lock bar, you might be able to do it, but it's extremely tough. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed.